Congress party will hold elections for its national president on October 17th and results will be announced on October 19th. According to reports, Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot is emerging as a front-runner to become the next president of the Congress party. However, Gehlot has denied this speculation. Rahul Gandhi is reportedly unwilling to take charge of the party. Former Jammu and Kashmir Minister Taj Mohiuddin on Sunday resigned from the Congress party and said that he will join the new political party that Ghulam Nabi Azad is planning to launch in the coming time. Mohiuddin asserted that Azad-led party won't ally with the BJP but with the PDP if the need arises. Mizoram School Education Minister Lal Chamdama said that a show cause notice has been served to the government school teacher who allegedly stripped off the school uniform of a six-year-old girl in Lunglai. Meanwhile, Mizoram's student body has demanded the termination of the accused female teacher. Notably, the accused, Lalbia Kengi, will appear before the district education officer today. The demolition of Supertex 100-meter high twin towers in Noida has left an estimated 55,000 tons to 80,000 tons of debris. According to Edify's engineering partner Utkash Mehta, the debris will be first processed at the site and then taken to construction and demolition waste processing centers. As per officials, the debris would be cleared within three months' time. The Union Sports Ministry has invited applications for National Sports Awards 2022. This year onwards, applications are being invited only in online mode through a dedicated portal. Notably, September 20th has been set as the deadline to apply for the awards. The list of awards includes Dronacharya Award, Major Dhyan Chan Khel Ratna Award and the Arjuna Award. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed an order on Saturday introducing financial benefits for people who have been forced to leave Ukraine since February 18th. The decree that covers pregnant women, pensioners and disabled people offers monthly pension payments worth $170. Moscow has been giving Ukrainians Russian passports, a move that Ukraine and the United States call illegal. Hollywood actor Johnny Depp made his first public appearance on television since winning his defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard. He was seen floating over the stage of the 2022 MTV VMAs as he donned the silver astronaut suit that is the mascot of the VMAs trophy. Appearing in pre-recorded videos, Depp could be heard saying, I needed the work. <laughs>